Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the show. This is One Touch Podcast. How you guys doing? I'm Brian with One Touch Detailing. I'm the owner. Um, you know, as you guys know, I started this podcast so you guys could hear more information from me, learn um, some of the things I'm going through, learn some of my problems, um, possibly educate you guys. Um, so today I wanted to talk about is uh, basically what are some of your problems as a mobile detailer or a detailer yourself? What are you guys having problems with? Um, you know, I'm having a few problems as a mobile detailer, um, you know, just to joke around with a little bit, but, you know, I'm getting right into the show, you guys. Um, but just to joke around with a little bit, but I'm having uh, in the winter a lot of freezing issues. I had a pressure washer wheel that broke on me. Um, my my generator, my pressure washer is out right now. It's broken. Uh, it's got clogged up. I, we'll get a bit more into that in the show. But, um, well, you know, what are you having problems with as a mobile detailer or a detailer yourself? Um, you know, also I have a couple of problems. Else I'm going to list down more in the show. But just wanted to bring that back up so you can hear the topic one more time. What are some of the problems you guys are having as a mobile detailer or a shop detailer? Um, so let's get into it. So one of my problems as a uh, detailer that I'm having is basically um, consistency with phone calls. Um, I get them I get them to ring. It could be maybe one, two, three days, four days. The phones could ring crazy or maybe one particular day the phone could ring crazy. The next two days, no ring. Um, I guess I'm getting bookings, no problem. But I'm not having a consistency with a phone call or ring, you know, which is not a real big problem with me, but I want to change that and make it better where my phone is constantly ringing. Um, not too much ringing where it's aggravating me and annoying me, but more ringing where I can get more phone calls, more bookings, where I can grow my business so I can get an employee and get an extra van and um, other things that we want to do in business, you know. Um, so that's the problem that I'm having as a detailer you know period i'm just it's just something i, I want to get over i want to fix and i'm having a problem just not getting um the consistency that i want you know i i get my phone to ring days like i said i get four or five six seven calls in one day or two days or three days the phone will be ringing you know then we have those days maybe no ringing you know no problem i, I guess maybe it's just business but I have to figure out, you know, what can I do to fix that? You know, I'm taking the steps to analyze my business um, as far as Google my business, um, go in and look into phone calls and seeing are they coming in, um, where they're coming from. I'm going in also Facebook and checking uh, who is searching me and how far my reach is going out on Google Ads. My Instagram, same thing. I'm checking everything. I'm analyzing my business to just see where my traffic is coming from um, so we can grow my, my business more to get more revenue in, to get more phone calls in. And um, that's part of the things that I'm trying to do to, to just analyze the business right now. Um, you know, so again, going back into what are the problems you're having as a detailer or a mobile detailer um, or a shop detailer. My problem, again, I'm a mobile guy right now. I transfer to mobile. Um, I love it. But my problem I'm having here now is uh, we're running into a lot of water issue. Um, my generator, I stated earlier in the, in the podcast, um, is it currently in the shop right now due to my water tank not being properly cleaned out when I first purchased it. I had some type of um, silicone base tissue form type of ob objects in there. It looked like real crazy. So it took me like almost an hour and a half, two hours to clean that whole uh, water tank out, which was crazy. You know what I mean? I, it took me a whole time and getting all that stuff out of there perfectly fine and everything like that. Um, I had to tear my whole van down to do that, guys. You know, um, I took that. I did took care of that stuff, but you know, my my generator is in the shop because I didn't have any filters. 
coming from my my lines going into my pressure washer um so possibly it probably is my a lot of it is my fault from not cleaning the tank and not having a filter um to stop any clogging or anything like that going into my water tank um it's a lesson learned for me so like i said this is that's my problem that i'm having as a mobile detailer just picking up and learning picking up and learning picking up and learning you know um if i had like a little coach maybe or if i had a mentor or somebody else able to teach me those things to guide me you know i wouldn't be able to have so much hiccups in the road where i'm, I'm messing up as I, as i go um it's a great learning experience you know no problem but it's it's costly as well you know we want to save the cost down and get more work done and not more time fixing and repairing products on the job you know that's what i'm having with um so question to you guys basically you know are you double checking and triple checking your work you know a lot of us are rushing to get to the next job but um we'll have a customer call them back or call them the next day because they're not simply going in and just double checking the work you know it easily takes you um five to ten minutes to just double check your work or what i do is i triple check my work while i'm working my eyes are constantly looking all over the car to double check triple check to see if any spots or any hair or any crumbs or anything that's on the ground that i missed i can just quickly go over because i'm double checking and triple checking my work um you know another thing you know i want to get into like i said these are questions for you guys are you guys having trouble with are you guys listening to your customer feedbacks and reviews you know some people get a good reviews and don't have any trouble with but um are you guys listening to your customers are they telling you hey i think that you should try this method or hey this is going on that you should maybe do this or you know it could be a positive review you know and you take it and run with are you guys just listening to your, your customers and taking that into consideration and, and changing up your business and trying to flow with what your customer told you are you guys really doing that you know um that's one of my questions that i really have for you guys maybe you guys can um drop a comment if it leaves somewhere for you guys to do so um you know and and we're going back to this again also what are you guys doing to fix and solve the problems you know that that you're having you know I said we're analyzing our business, you know, that's what we're doing. But are you guys, what else you got, what, what else solutions are you giving yourself to solve the business? Are you taking the time to sit back and say, hey, what's going on with the business? You know, should I game plan this thing out? Should I look at it from the outside? You know, I don't know if some people have employees, don't have employees. Um, but take a look into your business outside of it and try to just see and and figure out what's going on you know um as mentioned the google if you have google the facebook the instagram the yelp um the list goes on your website you know how are you marketing um the way you present yourself the list goes on you know so you you have to ask yourself you know what do you really want out of this business you know do you want to be growing your business or do you want to be down low or in the middle with the, the the rest of these detailers, you know, you could be up top here with that. Not, I want to don't want to say up top, but um, on Google, I want to on on Google, you could be in a higher rating on Google than a lower rating on Google by doing certain things correctly, um, showing up on time for your appointments, being customer friendly, making sure your website. Is everything is spelled correctly everything is updated um you have the pictures and all your pricing is comparable to other detailers you know you, you don't want to be too extremely high um you know yes we're, we're we're in a competitive world and everybody's checking prices you know you can be a little bit higher but don't go too out of the ballpark where they don't want to book you you know understand um yes it's okay to be different but we, we have to understand that these customers are under calling around they're checking the prices and when they see your price and say whoa this guy is extremely extremely high 
you know, they want to they start to raise the red flag and, and they start to look around and out. They want to ask why you're so high, you know. So don't go too high where people want to ask questions and get into details where they want to say, well, what, what, what am I paying for? Why you're so higher than the other guys? Because that's what you're going to get out of it, which is not a problem. You know, as long as you can fully go into a description of what do you do, um, what do your, your job describes and um, what products you use. Because some people want to know this stuff, which is pretty strange to some people. But some people want to know what products they use. What are you doing? You know, are you actually clay barring this car? <laughs> you know, um, so these are the things that you have to do and understand, you know, if you when once you get into this game or if you're already in the game or you're just looking to start up or if you have your own business separate from detailing, um, these are the things that you want to look into and be careful of, you know. Um, so, um, you know, hopefully that, that stuff can help you out, man. But um, back to, to my stuff where I'm still having trouble um, – is my website. I have to go in and wait, re redesign the website. And I did everything myself, you know, self marketing, self promoting, uh, well, so website designs. Um, I never actually created the flyers and things like that, but finding people to create my flyers and things like that. Um, so the trouble, the tr back to the troubles where we're having the troubles part is is now business is growing. We're going to peak season. We need to find a helper or a part-timer, possibly a full-timer. But the trouble is, again, I need that consistency for my phone to ring. Um, the days when my phones are ringing, I'm losing all money because I cannot get to these clients within my day or within the next couple of days because I cannot meet that time frame because I have other clients already booked because now my phone rings for those days and when I have a slowdown it's um it's hard to get that 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 phone to ring again. Which is is, is this how it goes, I guess, um due to the weather up and down and it's st still not fully spring here yet. I'm recording now and it's um it's only March. So um, just to give you guys an understanding of what, what they were recording because I have a recording and release date there. Um, but, yeah, guys, what are some of the problems you guys are having as a mobile detailer or a detailer yourself? Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of things that we can go on and go on and go on, but I'm trying not to drag out my episodes. I don't want to be too long. I want it to be something where you guys can listen to, get some input, and tune back in for the next one. So we're going to cut it short there. If you guys have any information that you guys want to give me to talk about or to speak upon, or if you want me to recap something, just please send me a message. Um, or you can go to my website and, and, and send me a message there. And I'm, I'm really in tune with you guys. And like I said, I'm not really doing too much editing. I'm here to talk to you guys and speak with you guys. Um, I'm going to try to bring people on to the podcast. I'm also on YouTube. If you guys don't know, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. Um, so follow me, guys, please. And um, thank you. Tune back in for the next episode. And I appreciate you guys' appreciate you guys' support. Thank you very much.